Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Virgo. So if you're a Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Virgo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Messages for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo, thank you, Spirit. Messages for Virgo, please. Start the reading with the moon. Let me pick up the card. You could have blocked this person, but some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Swords, four of swords, four of cups. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus. King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. One more card, please. Ten of Swords. All right. This person has a lot of Swords card um, in their energy. We have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and the King of Swords in their energy. Um, they are not in their head. They are thinking, overthinking. They are trying to detach from this connection, detach from the situation, or this person is trying to be very, very logical right now. 
um, they are having a lot of anxiety here, a lot of sleepless nights and everything. And with the King of Swords, Nine of Swords and the King of Swords here, it's almost, almost like this person is trying to cut out all of that. We also, the Seven of Pentacles also came out. So again, this person is thinking a lot. And with this kind of energy, it almost feels like, yeah, see bottom of the deck, we have strength. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this person is trying to find the courage to get over this nine of swords energy nine of swords and ten of swords ten of swords tends talk about completion so yeah this there is a cycle completing for this person ace of pentacles uh, this person definitely doesn't want the cycle between the both of you to be over with the ace of pentacles they do want a new beginning here four of swords they could be dreaming about you a lot keeping an eye on you Nine of Swords and Four of Swords is almost like this person tries to go to sleep, but they can't sleep because they are haunted by you. That sort of an energy. They can't look at that. I cut the deck and we have the Strength and the Ten of Swords again. Ten of Swords repeated here twice. This person is in a lot of pain. It's excruciating pain this person is in. And again, look at that. Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. This person is certainly finding some sort, of, some sort of clarity. They can see the truth. And this truth is more making them, putting them in that Nine of Swords energy. Also, uh, we do have the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords, right? So we have the Five of Swords in the mix. And the Five of Swords is a very, um, well, the Five of Swords isn't really a good energy. It's a sneaky energy. It's someone who's being sneaky, who was playing games and everything. And it's funny how we have the nine, four of swords and the nine of swords, the so five of swords in the mix. And then we have the justice here on your side. So this person, whatever games they played on you, um, it just got them blocked. With the seven of wands here, you have blocked this person. Now, if you haven't really physically blocked this person, you have blocked yourself because the two of swords, her heart is blocked, right? With the two swords, she's blocking her heart and also she has a blindfold on. Blindfold on. So she's not willing to see anything here. She isn't willing to look at this energy. It's almost like that sort of an energy from your side because this is your side, right? So you you are very defensive when it comes to this person. Your defenses are up. Also, this person might have a lot of secrets. You might not trust this person. You definitely have some of the other trust issues with this person and that is because the five of swords in the, is in the mix here. And as I said, five of swords is a sneaky kind of energy. Someone who has played mind games, someone who is not honest. They have their own hidden agenda. With the four of cups here, it's also very possible this person did neglect you. They didn't understand your value when they had you. And that is why you had to put up your boundaries, the lies, the secrets, the mind games, the neglect. You had to put your boundaries up. And that is you giving justice to yourself. You bringing back you bringing back balance into your life by choosing yourself you are really working hard towards your own stability like you want your um, stability look at that we have the eight of pentacles and i just cut the deck to shuffle them and we have the eight of pentacles here and i was just talking about you are working hard yes you're working hard eight of pentacles repeated twice um you are a hard working sign virgo undoubtedly so yes you are putting your entire focus on yourself and your stability you could be also trying to focus on your family and family like um could also simply mean your parents if you have a child or, or like just on that if you have a kid you know or if you have someone you need to take care of in your family you need to put in the effort into you are focusing on that or this could be as simply as you trying to focus on your own financial stability because that is important financial stability is important and that's what you are focusing on you're working hard on something you're also working hard on yourself it, this could also be the energy that you have blocked yourself from this person and now you are putting your entire focus on your work 
in the attempt of trying to get over this person or get over this energy all right Okay, so we have the three of wands queen of wands five of wands all three wands card came out to clarify this two of wands in reverse so a very fiery energy if there has been a lot of drama between the both of you this drama really really drained you this drama with this person this disagreements arguments whatever happened here it really drained you It's very possible right now you you feel a little not so passionate. The passion is missing. The fire is missing a bit. And that is why we have three wands card clarifying the two of wands in reverse. You could be waiting for some sort of results to come in. You're wait, you could be as simply as waiting for your passion, your fire, like for your mojo to be back. And that is why you are trying to work on yourself. It's very possible this person with the moon here, they made you feel very, very insecure and not good about yourself. And right now you're focusing on feeling good again about yourself. You could be making choices of working out on yourself, uh, changing your looks and all of that thing. But somewhere I feel like you are not in this queen of wands energy right now it will require you some time to be back in this fiery passionate sexy kind of energy also be not looking at options right now it's very possible you are choosing uh, i did see the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck when i started shuffling again it's possible that you are two of wands can talk about options you are not interested in any sort of romantic options right now you're not interested in dating you're not interested in all of those things you could already have people who want your attention but you are not interested in them you're waiting for your results to show there are people who are attracted towards you with this queen of wands, five of wands. There are people who are attracted towards you, but I don't think you are waiting for, um, like you're looking at options right now. You're waiting for your investments. Like that is why the 10 of pentacles and eight of pentacles here is here. Your priority right now is focusing on your stability and independence more rather than dating people. We have the Empress, the Two of Cups. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Pisces. I was clarifying the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person missed out on an opportunity of being with this energy where is the shadow coming from they missed out an opportunity with being in in connection in a relationship with the empress you were the empress but this person clearly neglected you they neglected the cup you were offering and now that you are gone it's simply the case of this person not understanding your value at the right time but now that you have disconnected you have blocked from them and you're much rather focusing on yourself that's when this person is understanding what you, your value, your importance, the love you brought in their life. 
yeah see that is when they're realizing the hanged man talks about realization the hangs, hanged man talks about epiphanies about seeing things clearly and that now this person can see things clearly all right with the hanged man uh, sorry with the, not the hanged man with the hierophant here um you are you are somehow leveling up and this could be because you're putting effort in yourself work in yourself this is what is helping you level up the hierophant can talk about spiritually evolving too and that's what's happening here you are evolving all right let's look at the actions straightforward reading okay so we have the devil in reverse you could be dealing with the capricorn we have the three of wands the world and then we have the ten of wands in reverse oh, you can't really see that of cups in reverse nine of cups let's get one more card bottom of the deck we have sorry bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune so you could be dealing with fixed energies aquarius leo scorpio taurus here and bottom of the deck we have ace of wands which talks about a new beginning page of swords i did mention this person is keeping an eye on you we also have the page of cups here so we have two pages pages are messengers the page of cups also talks about an apology and below that we have the sun so you could be dealing with the leo look at that ten of cups and the two of cups judgment second chances okay you could be dealing with a cancer this is totally your energy here Now you're, uh, you seem very sorted in this energy. Like I'm considering this half as your energy. So you seem very, very sorted. This energy seems very sorted. Again, in this area, we have the devil in reverse. So whatever toxicity, if you feel like this connection was very, very toxic, especially like we did have the moon at the beginning of the reading. And I did mention this person could have had secrets. They could have been hot and cold. They could have been lying to you, cheating on you, deceptive towards you, playing mind games, had their own agenda, whatever the case might be. With the devil in reverse, whatever toxicity was there, you are letting go of all of that. We're closing that chapter you're closing that cycle on uh, this toxicity now it doesn't mean that you are letting go of this person or this connection once and for all 
it simply could be you are letting go of that toxic energy letting go of the past toxic energy and you're waiting for something new you are waiting for a new cycle also the ten of wands coming out in reverse is again a very very good thing because look at that we have the justice the hierophant we had four or i i generally take out three cards but all the, this three row four cards came out right so we have the justice the hierophant and the ten of wands you are doing justice to yourself. You are evolving and with the 10 of wands in reverse, you are letting go of any situation, anything that is burdensome for you. If this connection, if this relationship was a very heavy burden to you, you are letting go of that too. And that is why I'm saying this energy is very, very sorted. You are letting go of things that don't serve you, the devil in reverse, the 10 of wands in reverse, and you are waiting and welcoming new things for your life, in your life. Three of wands, the world, waiting for new cycles. All right. Now, when it comes to this person's energy, we have the chariot, queen of pentacles. We have the page of swords, ace of wands, page of cups, sun, ten of cups, two of cups, judgment. We had all these cards, right? I don't think I can show all of this to you together, but all these cards they talk about a new uh, second chance here a new beginning on the horizon all of the screams a new beginning on the horizon okay so with the ace of cups this person certainly doesn't feel that good or that great without you they feel pretty miserable with without you you really filled their cup of love you really gave them a lot you really put in the effort in this connection and you really made them feel good You offered them a lot. And this person didn't understand. But now that the Ace of Cups in reverse, you are gone. That energy of you filling their cup of love is gone. Now they're understanding your value with the Nine of Cups here. Now they're realizing the, the importance, the value of the Queen of Pentacles. And now they're ready to take that leap of faith, move forward. Take that journey forward. And now they're ready for, as I showed here, for this new beginning. Right? Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Judgment, Page of Cups, Pages. Again, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. So that, that talks about communication. Ace of Wands, New Beginning, Sun, New Beginning. Judgment, New Beginning, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. I mean, this is pretty obvious energy, but then again, with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups here, um, we do have a Eight of Cups in the mix, right? Ten and Two, we have the Eight of Cups in the mix. So it's very possible that by the time this person realizes your value and comes toward you, you have emotionally walked away from them already. It's possible that can happen. And it's up to you after all. The decision is yours whether you want to take that leap of faith towards them or not. There's really nothing to clarify here. This is, a, as I said, this is a pretty sorted energy. Your energy is very sorted, very straightforward. So nothing to clarify. I'm just going to pull some messages. I need someone to make me feel special. And this is exactly what I said with that Ace of Cups in reverse. They don't feel special anymore. You made them feel special. And they don't feel that anymore. They feel miserable without you. you really gave a lot to this person. With the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the kind of person who puts in a lot of effort. The Queen of Pentacles is also the kind of person who can handle and manage everything very, very well. They are an amazing wife, a great boss, amazing mother, daughter, everything. Like uh, the Queen of Pentacles is, she's a multitasking goddess. 
okay and you are not there to make them feel special anymore ace of cups in reverse nine of cups time and place so this person might feel like you both i mean if you both met under a different circumstances at a different time in a different place things would have worked out so they are blaming the universe almost yeah i have changed for the better falling apart it's almost like the life is falling apart as i said this is that same energy of i need someone to make me feel special and as i said with the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is the kind of person who can manage everything and you almost did everything for this person you kept it together and now that you are not there it's falling apart right well that's your reading Virgo I hope you found some clarity through this reading I'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye